Well, hello and uh, welcome to uh, another episode of Horsepower. Uh, my name is Mike Henderson. Uh, we're 12 Horses and we're here today with Josh Morgan. Uh, you are, let's see, Public Relations, Morgan Dorado. I noticed your name is in the title there. It is. It's, it's an important thing to have your name in the title, otherwise people can't find me. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Good. Well, so you're, you do mostly PR and you work for agencies in the Sacramento area or like globally or universally? And we work with companies across the country and we started out as a basic PR agency and what we found is so much of what we do involves social media now and we, and we can't just do just PR, you right. can't just do social media because everything has to work together. And we're you know, reaching across to customer service, we're reaching across to marketing, right. and, and all these different groups have to work together as opposed to just in silos like we got used to. You're not building websites, are you? No, we leave 12. Okay, we good. have 12 forces to do that. All right, cool. So we're, we're doing something kind of different this time. We're here at, uh, at the uh, UC Davis Extension in um, Sacramento, California, with the class, with uh, Josh's class here. And I just talked about podcasting, and now we're going to talk about uh, social media PR. Um, with the class, and the class is uh, social media introduction. It's uh, social media as part of the marketing certificate program at UC Davis Extension. And so what we're doing is we're introducing all these main concepts and then showing how to do the things okay. that we talk about. Cool. So, so we're kind of doing that today. We're kind of doing that today. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, uh, so we've got how many, 10 or 12 people here right now? Um, I'd pan the camera, but there's our camera operator decided that she wanted to write notes instead, so that's okay, it's okay. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about um, social media and change of social media and PR. So PR is changing, social media is changing. What, what is the one sort of moving force, like, like I know on NPR they like to talk about Twitter a lot. Is that how important is Twitter, how important is Facebook, what's, what's out there that, that companies are having to take advantage of most? Um, Twitter is important for companies right now, and the reason Twitter is so important is that ideas can move so quickly through Twitter, and they can move from being one person's idea to being a mainstream news story over the course of minutes right. through Twitter. And that should you know, really energize companies and really scare them. Right. And what we're hoping is that it, it, it spurs them to action um, to, you know, to get involved with tools like Twitter, but also go be on Twitter. Twitter is just you know, one of the current tools at right. the moment. But it shows that companies and organizations need to be engaged all the time. Right. They need to be listening. They can't just wait for big things to happen and then right. act on them. You know, one of, the, one of the funny, you know, I like Twitter and I like PR and, and getting a message across. Um, but also I like, um, you know, humor and being funny. And so how do you deal with, as a PR person, something like swine flu is fairly important. It's, a, it's an important thing to, you know, to a PR person, to a government agency. It's also a really good joke. So how do you, how do you, how do you deal with, get past, circumnavigate the people like me who are going to make, make jokes about stuff like that constantly? And that's, you know, when you see that, that label on Twitter, you know, the, the topic count that says that swine flu is the most important thing on Twitter, how many people are, are, are just making fun of it? Um, whenever you're dealing with something that has a large group of people talking about it, you're going to have the, the important news related to it and just the background chatter right. associated with it. Right. And being able to separate those two is you know, part of the personal piece that's required of social media. Right. That's not something that machines can do. Filters aren't very good at it yeah. yet. Filters you know, have bad senses of humor. So, <laughs> yeah. so you need, that's where it's important to actually be engaged in all these things as opposed to just you know, waiting on an alert to show up to say, here's an important tweet right. or an important blog post about this because you know, Google doesn't know. Right. Well, I can tell you with a company like 12 Horses, if you monitor our Google alerts, um, strange things seem to happen to horses in groups of 12. Like 12 horses will you know, fall out of a truck on a freeway or 12 horses will be lost in a wilderness somewhere and, and then we'll find out about it. <laughs> so it's difficult. It's the same with, uh, you know, with any news topic. You, you can't just rely on the automatic processes to work for you. Right. And, you know, and part of what's important about all this is this conversation that needs to happen. And you need to be involved in the conversation as opposed to just having things pushed to you all the time. Right. Well, let, let's talk about conversation for a second because I get, that's kind of a sticking point for me because the people who talk most about conversations have you know, 10,000 to 100,000 followers on Twitter and I get tired of people hearing people like that talk about conversations when if you look at their Twitter stats, you can tell that they're having conversations with at most like two or three people. And the rest are just listening or 
not interacting or, you know, if you look at that, that, um, the, uh, the Forrester diagram again, they're spectators, they're not interacting at all. So what does conversation mean? Conversation means actually engaging with the people who want to engage with you, right. as opposed to broadcasting, which a lot of these social media tools are being used for now. I mean, let's use the Twitter example. Right. We keep going back to Twitter, but I guess you kind of have to right now. I don't want to say it with Ashton Kutcher. Okay, so <laughs> you got to say that. And the thing is, you know, he's got over a million followers. He follows a thousand people, maybe. Yeah. And the thing is, is that a lot of the people who are tuning in there are tuning in to be broadcasted to. Right. You know, they're not expecting to, you know, exchange recipes with Ashton. You know, right. and it's the same thing with people who follow Oprah. They just want information pushed to them. And those aren't people who are trying to, you know, necessarily participate in the conversation right. because they don't need to. Right. They're entertainers. Right. But at the same time, you'll get you'll get users like uh, Southwest.com or Southwest Airlines, will which will has the Twitter, and you can actually interact with that yeah. if you want to. And granted, most people probably don't, but um, it's possible. Yeah. Let's use uh, an, an an example like Southwest or Comcast. Just another right. example. Comcast is one of those companies that jumped into all the social media because of a really bad experience. You know, there was the sleeping Comcast repairman, and people went nuts. And there's a video that was seen millions of times. What Comcast did to respond is they have the at Comcast Cares Twitter account now. Right. And basically, if you mention Comcast or you know, I'm having a bad experience with Comcast, they'll hit you up really quick. Right. I mean, they, you know, they learned. Right. And they're an example of, they're not, they don't necessarily follow everybody. But they're searching for things relevant to them, right. and and there's somebody there who will say, okay, this is real, or this is just somebody saying that, you know, my Comcast is doing a weird thing, and you know, right. but they'll figure out and have somebody respond quickly. All right, cool. Well, uh, thanks for joining us, Josh, and um, thanks everybody for indulging us in this little podcast. And uh, check out um, Josh's website at uh, his blog is don'teatthishrimp.com, and your actual website is uh, morgandorado.com. Morgandorado.com, and we'll post a link on the website. And uh, be sure to check um, for our future and past podcasts at blog.coalhorses.com. My name is Mike Henderson. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.